and welcome to this month's Curator's Pick. Today we're going to look at quite a large set of chairs that we have that were used both in the Butterworth home and the Wyman home when they had larger dinner parties. Uh, to me, they look like ballroom chairs, and so that's what I tend to call them. But they were definitely, as you'll see from the historic photos later, used for dinner parties. So let's take a look at the three different styles of bent wood chairs that we have. So here are our three different styles, but all with a lot of similarities, uh, what I call our ballroom chairs. Now the two on the left are both made by a single company. And this third style, I think, was purchased later. We don't know who made it, but it definitely was purchased to kind of fill out the numbers of the other two when they needed extra ones. Now let's talk about these first two first. So the first two chairs we know were made by Jacob and Joseph Cohn, an Austrian father and son duo who established the furniture manufacturing company, J&J &J Cohn, in 1849. Their company would become one of the leading furniture makers in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Their specialty was the making of bentwood style furniture made from Austrian beech wood, which put them into direct competition with another Austrian furniture company, Gebruder Thonet. In 1914, they merged with another furniture company called Mundus, which then merged with Gebruder Thonet in 1921. The manufacturer's stamp on the underside of the chairs has these chairs made at the Tetchen factory. Tetchen was a region in the north of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and it's now split between the modern-day border of Czechia and Poland. From this, we can gather that these chairs were made in either the late 19th or early 20th century. Any furniture made after 1914 would have had the Mundus cone included on the stamp. And Austria loses control of the Tetchen region as a result of World War I in 1918. Most likely, the Butterworths would have bought these chairs from one of J.J. Cohn's American branches. Possibly the main office and showroom floors in New York City, or the Chicago branch. Now let's take a closer look at the style of the Butterworth chairs. So here is the one style of uh, J and J cone uh, chair that we have. Uh, we find it in one of the catalog books. Uh, so you can see they had this chair and then of course a uh, armchair, a rocker, um, and even a small set T. We don't have any of those pieces, not any of the armchairs. It was strictly the armless bent wood chairs. And here's two of the labels that we found underneath some of the chairs. This one, you can make out the Chicago uh, address of the branch office. And then this is a, a little bit different style of one. Doesn't have the branch offices. So we're thinking the Butterworths bought some of these chairs in different periods. So here are three photos that we found of that J&J &J cone chair being used in the Butterworth home. 
This first picture is from the early 1920s, uh, possibly 1910s, but we know it had to be taken before 1925. So these may have been in the house as early as 1914. We just don't have pictures of them being used. Then down in the oak room for dining, we see them again. And then finally, even in the 19, early 1950s, Mrs. Butterworth died in 1953, we can still see the chairs being used. So here's our second uh, set of chairs that we have. Also has a stamp um, pressed into the wood underneath that says J and J Cone, Chechen, Austria. Now you can see that they're both bent wood, very different leg style and the design on the back. Do we have any old photos of these chairs being used? Yes, just this one from, we believe, the late 1960s here at the Dear Wyman House, the Wyman household. Uh, this picture was taken from a dinner party in the Dear Wyman living room and right between two of the people there, you can make out just a little bit of the chair. And it's definitely this one with the scroll work. So what about our third style of chair? Um, we believe it's also birch wood, bent wood, as they called it. Uh, it's been spray painted gold at some point, as have some of the J&J &J cone chairs. Um, they would have been gilded originally, but uh, still different kind of leg, different back design, but still would fit in well with these. Why they're not J&J &J cone? We found a stamp, no J&J &J cone pressed into the wood, no label, but just an S stamped. So we aren't sure who made these chairs, but they were definitely purchased by the families to kind of fill out the number of chairs that they might need for a larger dinner party. We don't have any photographs of these being used by the family. Just means that there weren't taken anywhere I can spot the chairs. Well, thank you for joining us this month uh, to learn about our ballroom chairs that were used by the Butterworth and the Wyman families. You might wonder, what does it matter uh, learning about three Bentwood chairs? Well, I think it's important uh, to create a richer story about the families and how they use the houses. And I also enjoy delving in and learning more about the J&J &J Cone family. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next month.